But first thing I want to talk about is the PlayStation State of Play and my thoughts on it. Overall, this seemed like a pretty decent presentation. PlayStation is not really known for coming out with a ton of titles all at once, especially since they're now doing their own thing. I mean, most studios and companies are doing their own things in terms of presentations and showing off their games now, right? But the most notable games we got were, to me at least, were Death Stranding 2, Silent Hill Remaster, Silent Hill 2 Remaster, Hideo Kojima's next new espionage action game similar to a siphon filter is what i got that to mean i guess and that's gonna also be a movie which is a little weird but okay i'll take it i guess rise of ronin looks absolutely fantastic i'm gonna talk about that more depth in just a minute until dawn remaster never played the original but i'm interested in this one silent hill short message eh Okay, it's free at least. I mean, you don't have to pay for it. Metro VR and Legendary Tales VR both look great, but again, they're PlayStation VR exclusives. Anyway, talking about Death Stranding. I love Norman Reedus. Actually, I, I was interested in playing the original Death Stranding just because of him. I just didn't like the concept of the game. Basically, it was a glorified walking simulator. Apparently, this next one is going to have a lot more action, like gunplay and things of that nature. I don't know... Again, I didn't play the first one, so I don't know if it actually had gunplay and things of that nature. I might actually go back and play it because this one actually looks fun. Because seeing him take off the bag and actually fight people with guns is actually more interesting gameplay than you just trucking around with a baby on your stomach and weirdness. I didn't like the I didn't like the premise of the first one. It was very weird, but this one looked more interesting, so I'm gonna maybe may give that one a shot. So I got to play the first one, Silent Hill Two Remaster. They don't they're not calling it Remaster, which is weird. Because it is a remaster. They're just calling it Silent Hill 2. It's confusing. I hate it when studios do that because it confuses audiences with the previous one. Anyway, Silent Hill 2 remaster. I'm going to call it that. Looks great. They didn't really... You could tell they put a slight bit more emphasis on trying to make it more combat e. But they didn't want to go too far like a Resident Evil combat style, which I really like. Because Silent Hill is just not like that. The original Silent Hill... Games were very much like you were just trying to get away and survive. It wasn't about you getting the most biggest, most badass guns ever to like fight these hordes of monsters or these monsters in front of you. You were just basically doing what you could just to get out of the way. You didn't have very many guns. It was all about survival. So I like the look of it. It looks creepy as hell. I mean, some of those, I forgot about some of those monsters. The most notable one is always uh, Pyramid Head or whatever, you know, but everybody talks about that one, but... Seeing the one with the two legs, I'm going to show footage of that. Seeing the one with the two legs on top of each other, it, it's just creepy. So it looks absolutely great. I can't wait to play it. I'm very interested in this espionage game that uh, uh, Hideo Kojima talked about because we need like Silent Hill, e or not Silent Hill, um, Sif uh, Siphon Filter, <laughs> Splinter Cell-esque games again. It's been a while since we've had something like that because I, I remember back in the day on the N64, when Splinter Cell first came out, and it was the first time we had like a multiplayer experience with this. It was so much fun. Me and my buddies would come over and we would try to beat the missions, you know, with the split screen and everything like that, and it was so much fun. I remember I remember so many fond memories of Splinter Cell. I only played the first two, maybe three, and then I gave up on the franchise because they started going too far and I wasn't really interested. But I'm very interested in whatever this is because it's going to be absolutely awesome and I can't wait to see it. Uh, what they're going to do with that. And then the movie, I don't know. I mean, how is this going to tie in with a movie? Are they going to come out with a movie with the same story? Or is it going to be some of the story told in the game and then shown in the movie? I don't know. Anyway, we'll find out, I guess. Rise of Ronin. I'm absolutely really excited for this. I loved Ghost of Tsushima. I want them to come out with Ghost of Tsushima 2. I want them to come out with Ghost of Tsushima on the PC because I played it on PlayStation and I want to play it on PC with higher frames and I just want to play the game again. I beat it twice basically in a row. It was absolutely fantastic. And the reason why I like that game so much and why I'm excited about Rise of Ronin is because I liked a game back in the day called Way of the Samurai. I have liked the first two. The third one wasn't as good, but the first two were really fantastic games, and that's why those games, that's why Ghost of Tsushima and Rise of Ronin have always been so interesting to me. I mean, just, it looks fun. It looks like it's just a hack and slash samurai game with, with some other elements you know built in i'm curious curious what the story is going to be like if there's going to be decision making and things of that nature but from what i saw in the initial gameplay looks great i really wish they would bring back way of the samurai that was such a freaking good game i want that back but i digress 
Okay, so Until Dawn looks gorgeous. They just remastered the game, apparently. It's not a full remake or anything like that. It's just basically, I think the game came out in 2012-ish. It came out a while ago. I never played the original because I didn't have a PlayStation at the time. So, uh, obviously, because I was an Xbox guy back in the day. So, I didn't have a PlayStation, so I never played the original. And I'm not sure if it came out on PC. But anyway, regardless, I didn't play it. I don't care where it came out. <laughs> but this one looks great. And apparently, I don't. I, I didn't see if it comes out on PC, too. But it looks good, and I, I it just I, I actually want to play this. It actually looks really interesting. Uh, Silent Hill Short Message looks just like PT, which PT was a waste because they announced the new Silent Hill game with Norman Reedus, and they never came out with it, which sucked. But again, it's free, so why not play it? I mean, let's let's just give it a shot. It looks creepy and looks very interesting, so why not? And then the two VR games they announced were Metro VR and then Legendary Tales VR, which both seem good. PlayStation finally put a little bit more emphasis on VR games, but it's more or less like it doesn't feel like they're actually still fully adopting VR, which is frustrating. And Metro looks great. It really does. Metro uh, VR looks fun. I mean, if you ever liked, if you played the Metro games and enjoyed them in the past, this looks enjoyable. So, I mean, it does look great. And then Legendary Tales looks like just a fun little throwaway game. You know, it doesn't look like anything super in-depth or anything like that with a story. It just seems like a horde survival game. You know, it looks good. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, I, I just wish I just wish PlayStation, because they have the best VR headset on the market right now next to Oculus 3. Why don't they put more emphasis on it? Come on, come out with more games more frequently instead of just two games. I mean, they might have some other games in the pipeline, but they're not really noteworthy. I mean, we need some new VR games that actually draw people to the platform. I'm drawn to the platform. I really want a Quest 3. However, I just haven't found a use case for it where I'm just dying to play it outside of Half-Life Alex. I mean, I want to play that, but that, I'm not going to buy a VR headset for one game. Anyway, so I'm looking for more reasons to buy VR, and... The Metro VR looks promising, but again, I don't want a PlayStation VR because it seems like a waste because they're not really putting a lot of emphasis into it. 